Traveling to New York City used to be a miserable experience, something to be endured, not enjoyed. It was a journey through places like LaGuardia that Joe Biden once compared to arriving in a third world country. And the other airports in the tri-state area weren't much better. JFK, Newark, and even the Port Authority bus terminal. They were too small, out of date, and difficult to get to. Survey after survey showed travelers thought they were amongst the worst in the country. The Port Authority has spent billions of dollars and many years rebuilding the travel experience. LaGuardia Terminal B, rebuilt, reopened, and just named the world's best new terminal by Skytrax. And now Terminal A at Newark, recently opened after a $2.7 billion renovation. I like this. And that's where I met the man behind it all, the head of the Port Authority, Rick Cotton. Soup to nuts. We are tearing down the old facilities and building new 21st century facilities uh, at every single one of our major airports. Michael O'Leary of Ryanair is a firm believer that all you need is a shed. That you go in the, you've heard this, you go in the front, you go out the back. You don't necessarily subscribe to that view. You think there needs to be something that says something. Yes, well, airports are gateways, first of all, and they're also symbols of the regions that they serve. And so that's what they need to be. One of the airports isn't actually in New York. It's Newark. Now they're proudly pointing out that Newark is close to New York, but it's actually next door. You will see references to New Jersey across this new Terminal A. You will see constant references to New York across the new LaGuardia. You will see future tense. Uh, we're spending $19 billion at JFK. You will see in those terminals New York. JFK, the perpetual construction site. <laughs> I mean, it never ends. Well, if you looked at JFK, it was probably in worse shape than many people realized. Small, outdated, outmoded. And so we are doing a wholesale redo. There are going to be two very large, brand new international terminals. Our ambition is for them to uh, be, be best in class, best uh, in the world, and stand up to comparison internationally and in this country. Finally, um, the Port Authority bus terminal, you, have you met your Waterloo? Well, we'll find. Have you met your Waterloo at the Port Authority? We will find out. Uh, we have developed, uh, in cooperation with both states and in cooperation with the community there, a very imaginative and very ambitious plan. And so there's a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of momentum, and we're looking to complete the current environmental review process and are working toward a start of construction by the end of next year. Mr. Cotton told me that the old Terminal A was built 50 years ago. It was another era in travel. Over the years, it was too small and in the worst condition of all the terminals at Newark. He told me the lessons they learned as they were building the new Terminal A. What we've learned is you need open spaces. You can't have pinch points. You can't have places where queues form. Uh, you have to have the technology support, rapid throughput, the ease with which people board, so that all of these gates are equipped with e-gates in ways that right now people can board just with their cell phone, but in the future it'll be biometric. We're getting ready for a summer that last year was horrible. Will this year be better? Are you ready? I, I know to an extent it's not you. It's all the various, but you get the blame. Uh, well, the, the fact is the system is still struggling a bit in terms of coming back, finding staff that goes across. It's with our government partners, it's with the airlines, it's with the Port Authority. We have the highest vacancy in terms of jobs we're trying to fill. And this summer is going to be over 2019 levels. There's just no question. Travel has come back. so. We're, we're preparing for it in terms of actually hiring extra staff. We're preparing for it in terms of being sure that every system has checks and double checks. 
uh, but it's going to be a challenge. Final question. Um, it's going to take time to build and even longer, in a sense, to change the perception. Do you suffer from when you travel and people are still being rude about some of your airports and you really have to say to them, well, what, what, have you actually been there in the last five years? Well, uh, you are absolutely right. The, the reputation of these airports historically is that they were the worst in the country. And it does take people seeing them actually to alter their, uh, their historic image. And frankly, I believe words are close to useless. People have to see it. So you can't tell someone who was through the old LaGuardia and they haven't seen the new LaGuardia or who's seen the, suffered through the old Terminal A at Newark and haven't seen the new Terminal A. You can't tell them, well, we're gonna make it better. Disbelief, lack of trust. So the fact is, however, that as people use the airports, particularly post COVID, people do double takes. And that's when people start to believe that when we say world-class, we mean it.